hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide i am back with another message for you i hope you're doing well wherever you are sending you the purest of love and light may god continue to richly bless and keep you always knowing that you are blessed you are highly favored god is for us who can be against us also knowing you're on top and you're only getting higher okay you are blessed you're highly protected and if this is your first time welcome if you're a returning soul driver new soul driver thank you so very much for your continuous love and your support may god yes continue to richly and truly bless you always and please leave a comment if you felt led to do so thank you for your likes your shares as well that's the way for the word to get out to others so that they too can be blessed as well so for a lot of you a lot of us i believe that you can feel the shift you are you're feeling the shift right now it's like it's a gulf between us and them there is a wedge between us and them it's like divine place it's like a capsule around his chosen people at this time it's like for a lot of you a lot of us the illusions the clouds it's like it's parted and finally the sun can shine in for a lot of you a lot of us who have been going through a lot of things uh you know it's it's refreshing it's almost like a numbing a deafening it's feeling if you i mean if you if you know it you know it but for a lot of you a lot of us it is finished it is finished all the lies the deceptions the illusions the enemies they are played out they are done it's like there is nothing more they have ex they they are exposed a lot of them they're fallen from grace they are on full display for being the lying losers, backstabbers, iniquity workers, spiritual haters, that they are, and some, loose lips, lying people. It's like everything is out in the open. And so for a lot of you here, we have our angel, this is the death card, Mumaya, God, the end of the universe, showed up where endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. So for a lot of you, a lot of us, if it was up to the enemy, for a lot of you, a lot of us, we were not supposed to be here 2024. And it's like when at the start of the new year, a lot of these attacks, they double down. It's like they know that they're on their last limb and it's like they're giving it everything they have and this is god putting an end to everything that they have been doing because they wanted to take us out whether you know unaliving us or creating death stagnancy in our lives in other areas of our relationships our finances as well the way we think, the way we create, they wanted to put an end to it. But here we have Mumaya, who is here to influence health and longevity. So for a lot of you who and us who have been drained, felt as if we couldn't because, again, there was this spell, the yoke is broken from over your life. So for a lot of you now, you can see we're seeing ourselves in a brand new way it's like all those glamour spells sex spells and illusions and all of that stuff it's broken it's it's irrelevant now why because it's restored health and longevity so that means that people wanted to to shorten our life they wanted to have a say as to how long we live on this earth and god stepped in and said no 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 I am the author and the finisher of our faith, not you. You cannot blow breath. You cannot take it. And again, it's like, especially for those of you, those of us who are here on purpose for a purpose. 
And this is why a lot of these people, they are the ones who are and will be facing these harsh punishments in their lives because again, they started it. They started it so they will have to finish it. They will have to catch it because they are the ones who put it out there. And then we have the two of swords, Anael, God, Lord of all virtues. Breaking the circle, lifts opposing barriers, brings victories. So yeah, like with the two of swords, it's like caught in, in between two worlds, two minds. For a lot of you, a lot of us, the thought patterns, the way we think, it's like it was off. It's like we have brain fogs. Our chain of thoughts were like easily distracted. People were intercepting our thoughts trying to steal our ideas, trying to be like us, wanting us to shut up as well, to confuse, cause spirit of confusion over our lives. And God is here to restore all of those blessings back to us and to break the circle, to break the cycle of stagnancy, of all of these spells, everything that was done and to lift opposing barriers. So that means we had people who were opposing us, people who were putting blockages in our way, mountains in however way with the swords, by communicating, by lying, gossiping, whatever it is that they were doing in order to have us trapped. It's broken. So now these oppositions, they are shown, they're on full display for the community, the world to see. They, they, it's like they're falling from grace. They're a disgrace. Loaya, king of swords, the exalted God. Here with victory, grants victory and protection from lightning. So again, yes, all of the strikes from the attacks that were thrown at us. We know that when lightning strikes, it's like if a lightning hits a tree or anything, it's like it's dead. So again, these people, they wanted to bring death, lack, blighten our prosperity, our life, our in whatever way it is, it's like these people, they were not playing. They were not playing. I'm telling you, they were serious. So this is why it just really like, you know, it's, it's really like funny. It's funny to see people now is like now that they are exposed, that they want to come back to be humble and, and it's okay to forgive. We should forgive. We're asked to forgive, but we're not, we don't forget what the enemy or enemies have done. We don't forget. And so when they come back, it's like, are you kidding me? You forget what you just, and again, this is the king of swords. So this tells me you're not playing with people. It's like you can smell the nonsense from 10 miles away. And you're telling them, don't come near me because I can smell it. Don't even come close. It's like, go somewhere else with that. You're played out. I'm not the one to be played with. I'm not the one. I'm not the two. For some of you, it could have been in relationships where people betrayed, backstabbed. Maybe you have a divorce. Maybe you were in some contract, binding contract with some people who you realize were toxic. You were, you had, you were sleeping with the enemies. And now it's like, head over heart you're a conscientious intelligent ruler is like you're not just guided by the heart space anymore it's like you had to learn this lesson how to grow up how to protect even your heart because with the sword by you being that 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 nonsense or bs detector now you can protect your heart you can protect your investment. We can protect our resources. So even though people may say you may come off as being cold, but it's like you know the difference because you had to step into this in order to protect yourself. Wow. So for a lot of you, 
Yes, with the Ten of Swords here. Whether this is your money, people wanted you to feel under pressure and to be suspicious of others, to be burdened. I mean, they wanted to annihilate you. They wanted to take you out again with the death. But endings bring new beginnings. It's like they wanted to bring an end to you, a nine of pentacles, whether you're a man or a woman. It's like a lot of people, they were just mad. Whether you have nine of pentacles or not, but you look like it, you smell like it. And people were probably just jealous, envious. And they wanted to pretty much bring you down, not one notch, but 10 notches, the ultimate, the maximum. This is why I said these people were not playing. They weren't joking when they decided to, to do their thing. So it's like people, they're sorry now, but they're just sorry that they got caught. A lot of these people, they wanted you. They wanted us in this nine of swords where we, we have a lot of regrets and anxiety and fear up at night, can't sleep, can't sleep at night. But they know that if you are in this place of torment, then that means you cannot produce because there is no way you can maintain this when you are in this in this space of feeling rejected, lonely, and undervalued. And again, no wonder the angel here show up in order to influence our health because this took a lot of healing from all of these swords, the talking, the gossiping, the lying, the slander, the character assassination, Again, spells, people speaking negatively into your lives. All of these things were there to take you out. So again, they're only sorry because they weren't able to be successful. Again, this is a but God moment. Just in the nick of time. If you were an ordinary person... The enemy could have taken you out. The enemy would have taken us out. And I believe a lot of us are here in this time and moment. It's like God bringing me to this community. I was able to save my life. I was able to see in the spirit to step out of the flesh and see in the spirit because a lot of people around us, they wouldn't understand. You can't explain it to them. And even though some of them may have heard or seen what people were doing to you, to us, they did nothing about it. So it's only in the spiritual realm it came to light where God says our, our wrestle is not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. And so this is why we are able to fight these battles in the spirit. Because even though these entities, they don't, I guess they don't think that God is a spirit, but they were working in the spiritual realm. This is why a lot of them, the things they did, it was done in the dark. The spiritual attacks and warfares, it was done in the dark. They're reaching in the spirit. And so we had to get in touch with our in tune with spirit as well with God to fight these battles along with our angels and our ancestors. So here you are, endings bring new beginnings. They cannot take you out, they can't finish you. All of that is broken. Your health is renewed and it's restored. This is why there is this refreshing, it's like this freshness that is coming over. A lot of you, you're going to start feeling that. All of those burdens, they are lifted. You're feeling way much lighter, guys. And here we have the King of Swords. Now you're taking charge of your life because your angel showed up to break the circle. Because the enemy wanted to trap you. To change the trajectory 
the direction of your life, the course of your life. Trapped in fear, doubt, guilt, whatever it is, like not moving on. It's like they had you in a circle, blindfolded. It reminds me of Samson. In the end, how he was blind, you know, having to grind in that mill day and night. It's like they wanted to keep you trapped and stagnant. And this is why your angel, Aniel, showed up to lift opposing barriers and to bring victory for you to be victorious. The King of Swords and here, King of Swords is showing up twice here. I mean, it's like you mean business. You're taking charge, full control of your life. You're no longer giving any human being full control over your health, your life, your heart, your money. And this is the this is a tough lesson that a lot of us had to learn. Is like knowing who to trust. Not to just take people at their word, but actions speak louder than words. To watch people. Because you, you realize you have been played. In order to be this king of swords, you have been played. You have been toyed with. And it's like no more. Now you are this intelligent, wise man or woman. You're a leader. And like I said, you're, you're careful now. Who you're partnering with. Who you decide to do life with. It's like no more of the shenanigans. Eight of Wands. So everything with this victory here that came in, it's coming in fast. Because, see, they wanted you in this Four of Pentacles. Like this scarcity mindset. Feeling as if you were on your last at all times. I mean, this can keep you up at night. This scarcity, lack mindset. This is what I'm saying. They wanted to cause death in your life in one way or another whether it is physically or in areas with love or your money romantic or platonic connections your career you have people who were messing with your jobs people who were working with people who work with you to interfere with your business but I'm telling you, it's like all of this faith and hope, it's renewed and it's coming in quickly here. Passionately. Rapid gains you're having. Sudden love of fear. Fast, passionate. So it's like things are returning to your life even more than you have. You had in the past. You're getting double, triple for your troubles. And this is why, again, it's like the bigger the burden, the bigger the blessings. And this is why the floodgates of heaven, it's open and it's pouring, it's dumping down in and of your life. And I'm telling you, this is because now you are able to decipher the real from the fake. This is because all of the fake people are now out of your life, the imposters, the people who took us for a fool. It's like Crimea River. You know, I, you, here is a, 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 a Kleenex, wipe your tears, honey. But it's like, we can't go back to the way it used to be. It's over. It is finished. It is finished. And so we have the death card. Again, death with death. So this is what I'm saying. They were trying, trying to change up a lot of the, the way that you do things in your life. Or things were handled in your life. They wanted to change love. They didn't want you to have love. They wanted, again, everything in your life to quail up. Just to dry up and fall off and fall away from your life. I mean, death is showing up here two times. It's, that says a lot. That says a lot. So for a lot of you, yes, you now you have temperance. A lot of you, you're an earth angel. And this is what I'm saying. These people, they're realizing they mess with the wrong one. 
but you are the right one. So everybody learn a lesson here. You learn a lesson or you learned the lesson to protect your heart, protect yourself, not to be so naive and gullible, to be so trusting to people who have not proven themselves to be trusted. People who played in our face under our nose, who took us for a fool. You learn to take charge of your life now. It's like now you're a big kid, you're grown up, and now you're tempering. You can feel people out. Now you want to invest in or with people who are cooperative, people who will bring peace in your life, your business, your workplace. People who are there to love you. To heal, to heal. This is what it's all about here. You're avoiding your ego. People can't just sweet talk you anymore, tell you what they think you want to hear. And then you will just open your heart and your wallet or your pocketbook. It's like that old you, yes, it's dead and it's gone here. That old you is dead and gone. This is this new chapter, this new season, this new shift that we are in right now. And this is what I'm saying, like there is a gulf between us and them. There's a gulf between us and them. You are not the same person. Now you're realizing who you are. Because again, for the things that you have gone through, you definitely have a calling on your life. Because if it wasn't, you would not be here now. You would not be here now. It's like now you want to invest in true connections, <clears throat> soulmate partnerships, people, if it's your job, people who are there to partner with you, to inspire you. If it's love, you're looking for harmony, balance, mutual respect. Nobody to play you. It's like you're done here with the five of swords. You're done with the arguments, the conflicts. Again, the enemies are exposed. All of these people who wanted to one up to win. Again, they are exposed. Mean, mean spirited people are exposed. If this is your relationship, you're done with connections where you have to be arguing. You have to be walking on an eggshell. It's like you're done with that. You're done with that. Yeah, you're done with these three of swords. A lot of those you went through heartache, heartbreak. People who took your kindness for weakness. It's like you lost trust in these people. When you go to work or in your business, you're not happy working with them, for them. A lot of quarreling in your relationships, your friendships. No, it's like you're finished with that. You're done with that. You're willing to put it all to rest here with the four of, of swords. You're laying it all to rest. It's like you're finished. You're done. You're done with that. I love that. Yeah, in the light of the moon. So for a lot of you, a lot of things come to light. For you, for some of you, again, we know these people were very good at using the moon to work to what they have. So now everything is now in the open, in the light of the moon. It's like it's cracked open. The yoke is broken. Everything has come to light as to what was happening when it comes to your health and your 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 stability what was happening with your longevity people were working against that and everything is now revealed here life is better together so again here you are only looking to work with people who are suitable for your soul you are only Open to aligning yourself with people who will empire, empire, yeah? Yeah, you're in, to build an empire, right? Yeah, but I was going to say for people who will empower you 
inspire you, encourage you, motivate you. These are the people who you want to support you and to do life with. Yeah. You're looking for your soul tribe to partner with. I love it. And yeah, change direction with ease. So for a lot of you now that everything is out in the open, you're not afraid to take to change course. So now you have to put those negative, toxic people in the past. They cannot go with you. It's like, although we've come to the end of the road, so that you come to the end of the road. It's, this is finished here. You're at the end of the road. It's like the truth is revealed as to what's been done in the dark. It's now come to full light. It's on full display. And you're realizing now that one is oil, one is water, and you guys can't miss. mix. It's like, you know, we. it doesn't mean that we can't, we're not going to talk. But some of them, you may not even want to talk to them anymore. Some of them, even if you do talk, you know, it's like it's cordial, but not like it used to be before. Because now you can move with ease. Now you know where to go because that circle is broken off of you. The bondage is broken off of you. The spells are broken off of you and over your life. And with this, you're open to doing life with the right people, everything is revealed. Your angel showed up, thank God. God showed up on your behalf, on our behalf. And this is why we can celebrate victory, a lot of victory.